First, you need to load into Zapier. Basically, what we will do here is we will connect lead form to MailerLite. We want to connect lead form to MailerLite. So how do we do that is uh, we will go by Facebook first. This is for premium. Anyway, I think we can set up. So you need to pay for this. That's why they will charge you. So mm -hmm. this is what happened here is when a Facebook lead ad is triggered, okay, we will continue and connect it with our mailer light. So, uh, so this is the first thing. Then you will choose to trigger the event. Usually we go by new lead. If you are doing for the lead form. So this happened instantly. So then we will connect this over to the next step. So next you will connect it with the ad account, which is I'm going in for the lead ads for myself. Uh, you have the recording anyway, so I'm just going to walk this through uh, to give you the idea. So let's say if I go in by, we go to the Facebook page. So I'll go by, let's say, Jason Gunn. All right, so then you will choose the form. You need to choose a form. Let's say if I choose this, is the step would be, okay, you need to set up the ad on Facebook first. Okay. Okay, you set up the ad, publish it. You can mm -hmm. off it first before you set this up. That's why the step has to be one by one. So you publish the ad on Facebook Ads Manager. You off it, then you'll be able to see the form over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in here and we actually capture the we select the form. You gotta name your form properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the next. Then we will continue. So basically, that was set it up. You can test trigger and all that. So that's on the Facebook side. So the step will be you set up the ad, publish the ad, and off it first. And then we come in here, then everything will be here. So this is the dummy data and all that. So you don't worry about this thing. Then we click continue. So this is the Facebook site ready. This is on the Zapier site. Yeah? Now the next step is you need to connect it with another action. Now the another action that we're looking at here is definitely we are going for MailerLite. Let's say we go to MailerLite. Okay. So when you are in the MailerLite, for now, if you go in, you wouldn't be using MailerLite Classic. I think you'll be using MailerLite, the latest version. Uh, should be this one. Okay. But anyway, because I'm using Classic, so I'm just going to show you. So you got to choose the right one. Because if you sign up a new account with MailerLite right now, you should go to the latest MailerLite. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just thinking. So I'm still on the Classic, so I'm just going to go by Classic. And of course, you got to choose an event. So basically, what's going to happen here is you're going to go for this one, create and update a subscriber. So what the logic here is when a new lead captured on Facebook, we will create a new subscriber on our mailer like. Okay, so that's the logic. And of course, and then we will go to the continue and you need to connect it with the account, which you need to link the account first and all that. So basically, if you have not, then over here, you will need to link your MailerLite account. So the prerequisite is you need to create a MailerLite account first. Right? So we will come in here, we will connect MailerLite, you know, and then after that, we will go in and, uh, you know, of course, we will continue. So this is where things get a bit complex, but it's not complex at all. So let's say, for example, what we need to do here is we need to connect it to a subscriber group. Now, how do, we, how do we create subscriber group? So this is something that you have to do it in MailerLite first. So let's say if I come in and I go back into my MailerLite, give me a second. So I'm just, I'm using MailerLite Classic. So if you guys are having a new account, go for MailerLite, the new version of it. Uh, if you are having this. So before we want to do this, you need to log into your MailerLite account and then you go to under subscriber. Okay, you create a new group. You create a new group. So let's say, for example, um, you know, I will create a group called, uh, let's say, Facebook lead. Facebook leads. Okay, so I'll just do like this. So a new group will be connected. This is how it works. So it's as simple as that. You create a new group, and then we come back to this level, and then we choose the group. Okay. Hang on. Uh, that look more. So I think I'm just gonna, do we have it? Yeah, here. 
this is a new group created. So I'm just gonna select this group. And then after that, you need to connect information over. So first thing first, the email has to be captured. So we come to the email of this. This is uh, the, the dummy. So I'm just gonna capture this email. And then name, we will go for, of course, the name, right? So the rest you can, you can ignore. It doesn't really matter right now. Then you can actually go continue. Okay, so once this is done, you can actually do test. So you click test and continue. So if the test is done, then you can come back to your mailer light and uh, refresh it. Okay, to see whether this thing do come in. You see, just now zero, now become one. Means they have pushed the lead into it. That means the zap is working. Okay, so once the zap is working, then of course we can turn on zap. We just turn it on. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to set up the automation to send email to these people as and when they come in. Yeah, so how do we do that? Now, like I said, you can watch back to this as many times as you want. So I'm just gonna go straight and see how it works. First thing first, you go into automation under MailerLite. Okay, if you're looking at this in the newer version, it, was, it will still be called automation. You just need to do that. So then we will create a workflow. All right, so workflow will be something like it's automation. Remember, whatever we do online, right? In the, in the digital world, the reason why I can operate my business in the international scale with minimum people in my team is because I leverage a lot on the automation, which I don't need to do all the work. So let's say I'm just going to do this. This is Facebook leads uh, automation. Let's say you just safely name however you want it. Okay, so then you will talk about how do you trigger. So the trigger will usually when some joins a group. That's how the trigger. Remember, we have this FB leads group, which is connected to our, our Facebook lead form. So we will go by whenever subscriber joins the group, then we have to choose the group, which is Facebook leads. All right, then you can choose whether you want to repeat the workflow when somebody rejoin or not. This is where, you know, rejoin means if a person submitted as lead once and uh, two weeks later they come back again and sign up right it will trigger again so we usually recommend this thing but it depends on the situation but let's say we do this okay uh so we will just go for this and you don't have e-commerce tracking you can just let it go then we save so this is how it works you know you see an illustration so what's going to happen here is when a person joins subscriber group the next question is what do you want to happen so what we will do is we will definitely go by immediately. We want to send them an email, All right? So the email will say you are in, for example. Okay, I'm just going to do you're in. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, then we will go you, you're in. Then we will design the email. I'm walking this through real quick. Okay, so you guys can really go in and uh, set up. So what we will usually do is we're going to set up a new email. Uh, for my preference, I always go by, you know, just plain text email. That's how I send email. I don't like to send email with a lot of uh, visuals, videos, and all that. It's not my style. So let's say if you go plain text, I'm just going to quickly walk you through. So let's say that was somehow like I do. So your regis, sorry. So let's say, please. Okay, please use uh, this link to join on, let's say we do this on the 20th of May, 8.30 p.m. To join the webinar via Zoom. Okay. Talk soon. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Huh? You can do your email however you want it. Sorry. So how do you do that? Basically, um, I'm going into my calendar. Okay. This is the join Zoom meeting link. So we will copy this. Okay, we come back to MailerLite. So please use this link to join. And we will highlight this, then we will put the link. So this is the link. This is the 
All right? So I usually bold this and make it color so it looks like something to click. So your registration is confirmed, uh, that's a simple way. Okay, then I would send a test email to myself. Yeah, so you can do all this. So once you're done, I'm just gonna cancel this real quick. Once you're done, then uh, I cannot, I have to, then you can on it, just put it on, then everything will be okay. So what does that mean? That means as and when a lead come in, it's connected to your mailer light and it will send an email in sequence. It's all planned out that way. So that's how to do it.